What's up, everybody? This is Damn Ron with Trash Ass Gamers, and I'm playing Bastion. This has been a complete guide. This is part six of our guide. If you haven't seen parts one through five before, this guide is covering the complete game from start to finish. We're showing every level. Our objective is getting every achievement in the game. So we're doing all of the vigils, we're doing all the dream sequences, the proving grounds, and every little detail in the game in order to obtain all the achievements. Of course, we are playing on score attack mode, which would require you to beat the game originally before you can unlock this mode and then when we beat it on score attack we'll unlock the achievement for getting a million points as well as the achievement for beating it on new game plus so again this is part six in our guide um, obviously I'm not going to talk throughout the entire guide as we're progressing through levels I'm going to timestamp everything that's related to an achievement or a vigil unlock when it happens in the description as well as I'll pin a comment with those um, timestamps in them as well so if you're looking for a particular one you can check those timestamps and if you go to those areas I'll be talking about in a specific achievement or a vigil um, at that particular point when it's unlocked so let's progress through these levels a little bit Not only are these rocks a source of life, we found that the oldest ones remember things. They're recording everything, all the time, taking it all in. No wonder all those beasts were drawn to the quarry. The rocks were calling them. Keeping the quarry free from pests turned out to be a problem. Rattletails kept tunneling in to snack on windbags. Without those windbags, Quarry might not have its special qualities. Windbags tended to the rocks, so we had to keep the rattletails at bay. Now why would the Uran sell off such a fascinating place? Might be the gods told of the quarry's bad news. The Ura always were a superstitious lot. In any case, it's fair to say the quarry was a godsend. Those rocks, all polished to a mirror sheen. The largest ones, you know as cores. Single core can keep the lights on in an entire city district. The smaller ones, we call them shards. The shards got a fraction of a core's power, enough to fuel a voyage to the motherland.
Well, now the quarry's all dried up. These rocks are much too young to be of use. Remember how I said rattletails ain't the worst thing in the quarry? That honor goes to a beast we took to Colin, Sir Lunky. Massive things stomped many of our boys. We just couldn't get rid of him. The only thing harder than the rocks burst in the quarry is Sir Lunky's head. We never could get stubborn old Lunky to leave the quarry alone. Then the kid hears a voice calling from down the hall. Are you all right? It says. It's him. I've come to warn you, he says. The Bastion is under siege. Let it fall. You should not go back. Kid hears him, but he ain't about to be deterred. If that's the way it is, he says, then I won't stop you. Because my countrymen will. The next part's hard to talk about. Say what you will about Zolf, but he's a man of his word. All right, so we're rolling up on our first vigil in this particular part, and it's going to be our 16th vigil overall, the Mercy. And this is a natural gameplay vigil. You're going to get this as you progress through the game. This one is unlocked by killing 15 different species within the game, aka getting a kill on each enemy type in the game. Zolf showed him the way here, and here they came to take revenge. To make matters worse, seems that Ura took the girl. Unfortunately, they broke in, and they started digging their hole. Something wrong sprung out of those holes, and it's eaten away in this place. We tried to stop them, but we needed help. Baby Pecker, he don't make it. All right, so we're kind of approaching the end of the sequence, which is the Siege on Bastion. This is why earlier in the game I was telling you, you need to go ahead and get those animals in as soon as possible because they can be killed here. Um, but once you finish this, you'll unlock the Ura achievement. That'll be our sixth achievement, and that is for stopping the Siege on Bastion. We find each other as the dust settles. Then I tell him why the Ura came. To get us back, for the calamity. It was Ceylandia's master plan to wipe the Ura out. But part of that plan backfired, didn't it? If only Zolf knew the whole story. The shards can put this disease in remission, but there's only one cure. We need to finish what we started. All right, so once we place that shard in, we're approaching the seventh of the 23 um, vigils, and this one's gonna be the sanctuary, and that is for building and upgrading every building in Bastion. Um, so once you do that, you'll get the 17th vigil, and we're one step closer. The Mercy. The windbags ain't the only beast that drew a bad lot. The sanctuary. If we can build, we can rebuild. The Ura swooped down from the east. At least now we know the way. One last shard. It's all we need to put this mess behind us. And mother, what a mess it is. A 
mess like that could have only been made by hand. Zolf said the calamity failed, and he's right. The Ura stand is living proof of that. Just devised a way to seal the Ura tunnels shut in a flash. Just like that, every last Ura living in the Tassel terminals will be gone. This discovery was never to be used, they said, except as a last resort. like being manipulated. He had plans of his own. Strange. 
feels like I told this part a thousand times. First things first, though. There's someone we figure needed rescuing. See ya. The Ura fell back, no doubt planning the next move. But we knew ours already. There's something we had to do before going after that last shard. Well, now it's personal, ain't it? It's personal for him, and it's personal for me. We get straight down to business. They never saw him coming. He gets his hands on the care package I sent him. It's a little something I've been fixing up in my spare time. They got their own security and everything. Pretty fancy. Still, they ain't used to having visitors around. They've got these conductors that are all what's keeping the place together. Break enough of those things and the Calamity Rocks slink back into the ground. Rocks are like tumors, the same kind the Ura planted in the bastion. Well, the Ura must be in a panic right about now. We're coming up on Vigil 18 of 23, The Country. Again, this is another one that's pretty automatic. You'll get it as you progress through the game. This one is for raising 15,000 portions of land um, throughout the game. And, the, you know, as you've been playing it, you see the kind of the level forms beneath you as you play. And once, you know, 15,000 structures become, then you will get that particular vigil. And again, that's natural. Nothing needed to worry about. That one will happen as you approach the end of the game. Kids picking the whole place apart, piece by piece. By now, every Ura from here to the terminals must know he's in town. Most of the Ura's conductors are squared away in the middle of the hollow. Those Calamity Rocks must be eating that place apart from the inside. The Ura keep hanging on to the barricade. After all, their homeland's not much farther.
Maybe they know they've lost this. Lost to a kid. They underestimated us. Had his pay gone wrong. Some of them are downright bewildered by what's happening. Yes, our people caused the calamity, but here we are trying to fix it. Shame the opportunity for civilized discourse is over. Suppose old Zolf should have got to know us better. Maybe I should have trusted him, told him everything I knew. But when this is all over, it'll all be water under the bridge. As the hour grows desperate, the Ura bring out their big guns. There's nothing standing in his way no more. He sees the Tazzle terminals loom large on the horizon. sing about now, Zia. You weren't kidnapped. No, ma'am. You just had to see what happened to the Ura. To your own people. You had to see if everything Zolf wrote to you was true. Alright, so after that level, you know, we've leveled up again, so we're ready to equip another spirit. I like to attach the Bull Brandy. It's going to give us 15% damage resistance as a base spirit, so that's really good. Um, also, the next achievement we're going to get now that we've unlocked the Calamity Cannon, as soon as you apply the first upgrade to it, you should get Kid at Arms, which is to apply at least one upgrade to every weapon in the game. So that's going to wrap it up for part six of this guide. I hope you guys have found it helpful. Um, we're actually on to the point of no return. The next level in the game is the last level. So the next parts of our guide are going to be all the proving grounds, and then we're going to go through all the dream sequences. We need to do all that before we enter the last level because once you go into the last level you cannot return so we're going to clean that up in the next few parts i hope you guys have found it helpful i hope you've enjoyed the guide if you like our stuff feel free to like and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you in part seven